Hey, hey, what's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, today I want to take a little deep dive. Actually, it might be more of a shallow dive, but it's going to be into the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Um, so, so far, I like what I'm seeing. Not everybody's liking what they're seeing. So we're going to talk about it when we get back. All right, guys, stick around. We're going to get right into it. All right, appreciate it. All right, guys, let's jump right into this 2022 Toyota Tundra. Now, a lot, none of this that I'm going to talk about, well, I can't say none of it, but a lot of this what I'm going to talk about is not really guaranteed. Just like they're saying uh, the base price on this is going to be around $37,000, which is estimated. Okay, now it's going to go up to the TRD Pro or run you around $52,000. But, you know, it's all, I guess, hearsay until it really comes out. But what is not is the power this thing is going to bring. Now, a little bit different from, you know, other trucks like Ford or whatever, this is going to have a V6. Yes, 2022 Toyota Tundra with a V6. Now, it's going to have a twin turbo. Now, it's not going to be a bad V6 because this thing's standard is going to push out 389 horsepower, which ain't too bad. 389 horsepower, and it's going to push out 479 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, which, you know, ain't too bad. It's almost 500 pounds of torque. Now, you can do the upgrade to the hybrid. If you want to get the hybrid Tundra, this thing will push out 437 horsepower push out 437 horsepower and it'll push out 583 uh, foot pounds of torque now this hybrid version it features an electric motor uh, integrated into the transmission now which allows pure electronic drive at a low speed which combines to generate a combine of 437 so that's how you get your extra you know horsepower because you know combine and generates and stuff like that um, so yeah, I think it's going to be nice. I like the way, because it doesn't give you any, uh, fuel consumptions yet. So that's what I like to really see being a twin turbo V6. What is that mileage going to be like? I mean, you're with the hybrid, you're pushing out, you know, 437 horsepower, but yeah, and the gas tank. So we're going to look at, you know, more into this when it all becomes available. Right now, this is basically, you know, just the first take. And um, just basically what I'm telling you is what everybody else is seeing. So it's pretty good. But you know what? Even with the V6, this thing still tows, it tows 12,000 pounds. Which, I mean, you know, you got the Ford F-150, which tows around 14,000. But still for a hybrid you know v6 and it's a three a 3.4 liter yeah it still tows twelve thousand pounds and i i don't think that's bad i think that's probably pretty good you know a lot of stuff you can tow with twelve thousand pounds now the truck actually come you know it comes crew cab and extended cab or whatever but if you get the four door the extended cab you can either get that in a 6.5 foot bed or you can get in an eight foot one 8.1 foot bed. I don't know of anything ever. Anyway, that's pretty big. Most of the beds I know back, you know, a while back, everybody was wanting like short beds. Everything was short beds. But now, an 8.1 foot bed, and that's on that's on the extended cab. I think that freaking thing's gonna be huge. Now, on the crew cab, you can get the standard 5.5, you know, foot bed, or you can get a 6.5 foot bed. So you can get, you know, the 5.565 on the crew or the 6.581 on the extended, which is not bad. Now, wheel, you can get 20-inch wheels, but I think that the TRD, the off-road, is 18-inch wheels. But you can, you know, you can upgrade to 20-inch wheels, you know, for, off, for regular driving or whatever. And that's just like on the inside. It comes standard with an 8.0 with an 8-inch 
infotainment center, but you can also upgrade to a 14 inch, 14 inch infotainment center, touch screen. Yeah, it's pretty massive. Now, something else with the driving, um, it doesn't have leaf springs. The 2022 is gonna have coil springs. Now the coil springs, um, just, you know, it helps for the handling and, you know, driving leaf springs are just, it's a little rougher on the road, but even with the coil springs, you still can tow, you still can tow 12,000 pounds. Yeah. Still can tow 12,000 pounds. Now there are some pros and cons that people, you know, have been out there talking about, you know, comments and stuff. Now, as far as the cons, um, people don't really care for just two engine options. I guess people want more than two engine options. Two engine options is okay to me. And then the um, limited on the controls and the tuning with the radio. I, I guess it's just that big screen. It's, just, it's hard to find radio tunings and stuff like that. And then, you know, innovative, just half ton rivals. You know, so everybody's going to say, everybody's going to have something to say, which I don't think too bad. You know, it's more to each his own. Now, as far as the, the, uh, the pros, you've got your... Um, People like in the, the refine uh, powertrain and the rear suspension. People are liking that rear suspension, you know, being springs instead of, uh, it was going from leaf springs to coils. So now it's coils, but it used to be leaf springs, but people, they're liking that. And then um, they're liking the 6.5 bed, which I think that's going to be a pretty big hit. The 6.5 bed, because the 8.1 Unless you're in construction and you're, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. That 8-1 might be a little cumbersome. But the 6-5, even on the crew cab, the 6-5, I think, is going to be the best, you know, on both vehicles, whichever one you get the crew or the extended. Now, the interior, um, the interior is a lot nicer, too. But other than the interior being, you know, a lot nicer, um, yeah, I like it. I mean, the, the interior is nice, but... I like it. So there's going to be more to come on this. So just stick around. And um, when it comes available to me, I'll bring it out to you. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Be good to yourself. And please be good to others. All right. Thank you.